Today we are going to talk about Saint Barnabas, whose feast is on June 11th. We are talking to you about him because he was a great saint and he is called an apostle. We'll tell you about that, but first of all, he was one of the seven disciples of Christ that he sent to preach the gospel in the different towns of Galilee uh, in Judea before Christ himself came to these towns. He would send these disciples, and St. Barnabas was one of those 70 disciples. And as a matter of fact, he was one of the most important ones, maybe even their leaders, maybe even their leader, because he was uh, later on in the gospel to be called in the Acts of the Apostles, he would be called an apostle by St. Luke and by the early church. That's St. Barnabas, he's a wonderful saint. And we say that because not only did he hear the words of Christ himself when he preached the gospel, St. Barnabas was there and he saw him work innumerable miracles. But when after the Son of God ascended into heaven, St. Barnabas was one of those early disciples that became uh, a bishop and <clears throat> He was the only one of the early church, in addition to the 12 apostles and St. Paul, he was the only one to be called an apostle. He was called that by St. Luke himself. He was, in addition to being an apostle, he was also one of the people who, in the Acts of the Apostles, it mentions that they gave all of their earthly possessions, these early Christians, they not, it was not required, but the early Christians would sell everything they had and they would give that to the apostles, to the church. And St. Luke only mentions one person that act by, by name that actually sold everything they had and gave it to the church. And that was St. Barnabas. So he must have been a wealthy man for St. Luke to mention that he gave everything that he owned to the church. Now, after <clears throat> Christ ascended into heaven, St. Barnabas was a great preacher and he was called by the apostles Barnabas. That was not his name prior to this. He was called Joseph. And because he was such a great preacher, and in addition to that, he was tall and handsome. He was such a great preacher that they called him Barnabas, which means son of consolation. Because of his ability to preach the gospel to the, not only to the Jews, but to the Gentiles. And whenever the apostles, the early church, needed someone that they could trust to go someplace and preach the gospel, they would send Barnabas. He was a wonderful preacher and he was called this, um, they gave him this name because, this name of Barnabas because of his ability to console people, to bring up, to give them consolation. And at the end of his life, he was martyred, of course. And we thought, since we, he was such a good friend of St. Paul's that we would tell you about him next to St. Paul. And also, we thought you would like to see a picture of St. Barnabas. So there you have it. That is the great apostle and preacher, St. Barnabas. Thank you.